We have all heard the phrase that a house divided cannot stand. This is true in politics. It's true among family members, and it's certainly true in the the Christian faith, the body of Christ. Now, the Bible is very clear that we are a single body of Christ. So with that in mind, as I continue on my study in 1 Corinthians, listen to what Paul says very early on in this letter. He says in 1 Corinthians 1.10, I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with one another. Let there be no divisions in the church. Rather, be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. It's easy, especially in our polarized times, to find reasons to nitpick what other people believe, to be so busy looking at what separates us, the thoughts we have on different matters in our faith, in our denominations, whatever it is, that we embroil ourselves in dissension. Dissensions lead to disunity. Disunity can significantly impact God's church here on earth. I encourage you, as Paul did, to look for what unites us more than what divides us, and to focus on those things. Blessings on you today.